Greetings everybody, welcome to this new video tutorial on uh, the Mind Expert program. Uh, Mind Expert is a mass spectral data visualization and mining tool. And this video tutorial is a general overview of the uh, scripting uh, environment. Start uh, Mind Expert. This window we know we can minimize we can also minimize this one and we now have the main expert scripting console um, if uh, the scripting console doesn't show up the way to show it is uh, show scripting window here we can minimize this scripting in main expert is with javascript um, so main expert comes with a JavaScript uh, engine that will execute JavaScript uh, statements. The scripting console that we see here, this window, is divided in two parts. The left part is a tree view widget in which items available to the scripting environment will be uh, displayed and uh, created all along uh, different tasks are carried over in the program. There are alias values here. For example, main window is abbreviated into main window like this. Each item has an explanation tooltip here. The second part of the window is this tab widget that contains four elements, four tabs. The first tab is divided into two parts that can be resized. The upper part is the output uh, window. This is where the results of the command execution is displayed. When the text is grayed, when the text is grayed, that means that the text is a comment. When we created the JavaScript objects here and we added to the tree view, we wrote a text. For example, this object here is associated to this comment, make available the drift spectrum window under name drift spec window. So this is to uh, document um, the, the various objects here. The bottom part is where the uh, command lines are actually entered. For example, one would uh, ask uh, main window to show the about dialog box and uh, this would happen. What did I do? I hit control return to execute because return serves as a way to go to the uh, next line. To execute control return and the command line executes. The second tab is history and we see that we have hit twice control return with these command lines. The history gathers all the commands that uh, are executed in the scripting uh, line edit widget. It's, uh, it's, it's a very powerful history here. It doesn't show up, but it is powerful. Configuration is the tab where one can configure uh, logging if we want to log on success or to log on failure or only on success or only on failure. Logging is here. It is possible to save history at a given time. It is possible to reset history, which we will do now. Reset history. And we know that there won't be any item in the history. Good. Finally, the last tab is the JavaScript reference. That reference documentation is extracted automatically from the source code, 
should be authoritative and complete. Note that each function that is documented has an example code. Let's take some more meaty example. Um, for example, here, scripting. So in, in Linux, only selecting something and then middle clicking in that place will copy. Otherwise, control C, control V. To execute that paragraph, simply hit control return. And the result is shown here. Let's, um, for example, try a, an erroneous command. For example, main window about two O's so that it would fail. The errors are typeset in red. That is the falsy uh, return values. The truthy result values are typeset in green and the undefined in black. So this is the coloring um, convention. Same for history. You'll see that this command has provided an erroneous result because it's in red. We can remove this. Right click, you see that in the history list widget there is a menu available here and it's possible to remove selected so now it's gone what's interesting with history is that you can cherry pick items in order to re-execute them this is why there is history for example let's select this one then this one and uh, show only these two values here select this one and show only the first values here in order to send the selected items to the scripting uh, console simply hit return and these items are now in here it is important to see that hitting return here will erase the previous ones and now we only have that in order to add items select them right click and insert items to script input control i control s let's remove this control i control s and you see that we didn't lose the first line. We inserted the new lines. So now we can control return and the lines are executed. So that's for history. And uh, another interesting uh, feature of history is that it contains a, a regular expression filter. For example, Let's uh, only show uh, history items that contain the trace word, hit, return, and we only have these. We could remove, for example, the second and the third trace, Control RS, remove selected, go back to the full list of history items, remove the regular expression, hit, return, and we now have removed the, uh, the items. Let's uh, again select for trace uh, containing items. Select both. Remove selected. Show everything. And they are not there anymore. So it's a very powerful way to actually filter out uh, undesirable elements from the history. When one has done this, it's interesting to go to the configuration uh, tab and say save history so that it is saved in this precise status before quitting. History is automatically uh, saved also uh, when the program is quit. 
So come back to the JavaScript reference. Um, as I was saying, uh, the uh, various functions, this is a function, the explanation of the function, the description of the parameter, and an example. The documentation is divided into big sections. Data point here, for example, and then Savitsky-Golay parameters. Let's go down. MZ integration parameters, and so on, for example, until um, now I'm hitting the page down key. Trace, this is a new section. And then after trace, there will be mass spectrum. This is a section. When a new section is opened, there is a pretty large uh, explanation of the object. These are classes. And um, they are documented in a pretty uh, large detail. These objects are available from the GUI, from the graphical user interface. They are not instantiatable. They are made available uh, as, as they are created in the uh, graphical user interface um, environment. So I guess this is um, the, uh, the general overview. The, you, the, the same uh, regular expression filtering is available here. If I wanted to select mass spectrum here, I'd say this, hitting return selects all the uh, documentation lines that contain the mass spectrum word. If I wanted to also uh, show some context lines, I would increase that number here and uh, select um, mass spectrum again using uh, return and we see now that we have context lines the tilde here separates the various matching regions so here mass spectrum is located uh, in this line and i wanted five context lines one two three four five above one two three, four, five. So this is what context lines means. Of course, if you want to have a match that is case insensitive, uncheck this checkbox. I think uh, that this is a um, complete general overview of the JavaScript uh, environment here uh, for the program. Thank you.